Good morning, children. Welcome to science class. So, in science, we are learning the twenty block, which is saving energy. Yes, and in this, we have learned about the electricity and the energy that we get from the sun and the biomass, isn't it, children? So, in the third topic, we are going to learn about the renewable and non-renewable sources of energy. Okay, so if you see, children, please open your science content books, children. And turn to page number one hundred and twenty six one two six. Okay, so when a source of energy is called as renewable and when it is called as non renewable. Okay, so if the energy, if the source of energy can replenish, that means becomes renew or it can replace itself by itself. in a short period of time then it is called as renewable renewable sources renewable sources of energy okay that means if the energy can replace itself but in a limited time that to short period of time then it is called as renewable source of energy okay how we can say if you take the example of sun you get solar energy isn't it so in the morning you will start with the solar energy at the night the sun will be moved away we will get into night we have night but immediately in the next day in the morning of the next day itself you will get again your sun you can get your solar energy isn't it children that means very short period of time only for the night we can't see the sun sun but after the night from the morning afternoon and in the evening you can have sun that means you can get solar energy and only for night we don't have that is with very short period of time you can use your solar energy isn't it children the wind energy also whenever the air is moving it creates wind isn't it and air will not stop it is continuously moving isn't it so wind energy can be replenished it can be replaced isn't it and biomass okay whenever you have biomass whenever you have waste from the forest from the agriculture from the animals you can create your biomass isn't it children so that is biomass and hydro power that means the energy that we get from the moving water we have lots of running water isn't it children we get even the snow is getting melted in the himalayas in the polar regions isn't it children so it's we are getting water and if you see children the water quantity from millions of years it is the same okay only thing is we are polluting the water which is making us to face water scarcity okay so so this hydro power also the water power also we can use continuously we can replace it in a very short period of time so these energies are called renewable sources of energy the volcanic eruption geothermal energy also okay it can be replaced in a short period of time okay now non renewable sources the opposite when a source is cannot cannot be replenished by itself in a short period of time it is called non renewable sources here children they are replenished okay non re re renewable sources also replenish but they take long period of time some hundreds of years okay to make to form a new energy okay for a, for example oil coal nuclear gas nuclear energy so all this natural gas all they take long period of time to get replenished that's why these sources all called non renewable sources of energy okay now you understood the difference between renewable and non renewable sources children the sources of energies which can be replaced in a short period of time then it is called renewable sources non renewable sources are the sources of energies which cannot be replay replenish in a short period of time they can be replenished but it takes long period of time okay so sometimes if we continuously use this sources then it uh, there is a fear of the 
them disappearing also that that's why these are called non renewable sources of energy okay like oil oil means petroleum coal natural gas and nuclear energy okay children so this is our topic for today children i have given few keywords in your daily schedule please learn them and write it in your class work and underline in your content book also and if you find any other word you can include in your keywords also and coming to your question answers what is the difference between the renewable and non renewable sources so the sources which can be replenished by itself in a short period of time are called renewable sources for example air water air, air means wind wind water etc wind water solar energy biomass you can include any example okay non renewable sources are the sources of energy which can, which cannot be replenished in a short period of time then it is called non renewable sources of energy example coal oil natural gas all this you can write it down okay so write this answer in your class work and please learn it children coming to your next question what are the limitations of using renewable sources of energy so in renewable sources of energy what is the limitation so we cannot depend on these sources completely why we cannot depend on these sources completely because wind energy you will get when the wind is blowing isn't it and hydropower energy the water energy you can get only when it is it rains and when it rains if you collect the water in the dams then the we can use the hydropower isn't it children sun energy only when there is a sun and you will have sun all the time only in the winters or in the nights you can't find the sun isn't it so these energies also produce less energy and using them is expensive so what are the limitations of renewable sources of energy because they produce less energy when compared to the non renewable sources of energy non renewable sources of energy produce more energy renewable produces less energy and it is very expensive though that are the limitations of renewable sources of energy okay children so write these two answers in your class work and please learn it children coming to your next question list four each of non renewable and renewable sources of energy just now we have explained non renewable sources coal oil like fuel you can write or petroleum also you can write natural gas nuclear gas and renewable sources solar energy hydropower energy biomass and wind okay so write these three answers in your class work and please learn it children coming to your homework complete the volume book volume book 3 page number 21 s3 renewable and non renewable okay so in the next class we will learn the next topic children see you in the next class bye